I remember a time. I remember a time when I was a youngin. Um, when one of the all-time New York Yankee memory providers, because he was one of the all-time great Yankees. But in the history of the New York Yankees, their vast history, one of the great moments, top 10 has to be, and we're talking Mantle, Ruth, DiMaggio, obviously, on and on and on and on, sure. One of the greatest moments of all time has to be Bucky Dent hitting a home run over Fenway Park in game 163 for the Yankees to complete a 1978 back from the dead American League East Championship. And then, of course, moving on to winning it all for back-to-back years, 77-78. One of the greats of all time, George M. Steinbrenner III, the owner of the Yankees, years later firing Bucky Dent as manager of the Yankees in, of all places, Fenway Park. What goes around comes around. Because George didn't care (laughs) who you were, (laughs) didn't care what you've done in the past. What were you doing for him lately? And how were you not only winning baseball games, but helping him avoid the embarrassment the personal embarrassment. When you lost as a Yankee, you weren't just costing the team. You weren't just costing the franchise money. You were embarrassing him personally. And him taking it personally infuriated me. I just wanted him to be patient. Take it. Easy as it goes. Don't stir it up all the time, George. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy. I don't know how... This is a lesson for me, maybe, as a 53, almost, by the way, I turned 54. I'm a 54-year-old cheerleader as of Saturday. (laughs) Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm losing patience myself as an aging individual. But when I hear his son, Hal, who's running the team right now, say this on Michael Kay's radio show about the Yankees after they just lost five of six to the Red Sox, including getting swept in a doubleheader, including one that the whole country saw on Sunday Night Baseball, which used to enrage George when the Yankees lost on national TV on the Saturday game of the week with Vin Scully in the booth for NBC, right? Remember those days when the Yankees lost on Monday night baseball with Keith Jackson or Al Michaels in the booth? It drove him nuts because he was getting embarrassed. This is what Hal had to say about the current state of the Yankees. Um, I don't know how much you monitor what's what's said on radio shows or on social media, but for some reason, I mean, your fan base, at least the vocal ones, Hal, very, very upset. They, they, they're just upset. I, I mean, have you heard that noise? Do you try to block it out? Does it affect you? Yeah, I don't. Look, I, I, I want to know. You know, I talk to Jason Zillow a lot, and I talk to, to, to different people. I don't listen to podcasts. I don't listen to radio shows. I don't read the papers much. It's just, I just don't. But I want to know what the, what the vibe is out there, and I understand they're upset. I, I'm, not, I'm a little confused this year being, uh, you know, third week in June, why they're so upset. But they're upset, and that's going to get my attention, of course. And, you know, everybody just needs to know that we're we're working hard on all fronts to get this, you know, to get this back on the rails and start playing the way we were for, you know, a couple-week period there in May. But health has got to be a part of it. We've we got to get Aaron back. You know, Rodon had a rehab outing. He felt great afterwards, 42 pitches, I believe. Uh, we got to get him into the mix. Um, we we got to get healthier. We got to get guys off the IL and put sending guys to the IL. That's that's one factor that needs to happen. Very nuanced take. Let's Fair. get our best player Fair that reasonable. we spent all our money on <laughs> yeah. and Aaron Judge back from the IL, where he's been on two different stints. And yeah. Carlos Rodon, we uh, we made all our moves. Uh, you know, our big pitching move, and he's he hasn't pitched yet. But hearing him talk about how well they were playing in May, George M. Steinbrenner III once called Dave Winfield Mr. May. 
And that was an because insult. It was an insult yeah. because you win yeah. in October, which the Yankees have not done in too damn long. Patience is understood if you if you won a couple years ago. They just finished the first decade in the history of the team without winning a championship. And now you're seeing the same stuff over and over again. The same stuff where they can't seem to still pitch properly to folks like Rafael Devers. And Altuve, wait till he gets his shot against the Yankees again. It's just amazing to me how different he is from his dad and how I'm sitting here thinking how much I miss his dad. You want to know what the Yankees need right now? Some George Steinbrenner. This from George M. Steinbrenner III being chronicled on 60 Minutes in the late 80s by the brilliant Ed Bradley, who asked him if he's a good loser or not. Give a listen to this and contrast it to what you just heard from his son. Are you a graceful loser? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm like a Yankee fan. My foot has gone through a number of television sets in my time. Uh, I bleed like those guys out there do, the fans. I mean, they hate to see you lose, and, and I hate to lose. Uh, you take it personally? Yes. Yes, I, I mean, do. Wh- what does it say about George Steinbrenner when the Yankees lose? It says he's one of the worst losers in the world. <laughs> you show me a good loser, and I'll show you a loser. <laughs> and I got to be one of the worst. <laughs> We just got to get back to the way we've been playing in May, even though we haven't won a championship since 2009. Has it been that long? Yeah. Oh. You man. know it too. Funny, funny, funny. Oh, the <laughs> fact that you can sit there and crow is exactly <laughs> why people like me are livid and just saying, oh, let's just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Let's just keep waiting for the home runs to hit. And then in between the home runs not getting hit, let's get three hit. And instead, you're just like, yeah, I speak to my VP of communications. I, that's who I hear from. He doesn't read the papers. Or Get out of here. Come on. George would Come on. not only read the papers and know what's going on, he would have his person call the newspapers mm-hmm. and plant stuff to make sure that everybody was on their toes. And it made me so upset when I was younger. And now that I'm older, I'm like, where is that foot getting stuck up people's you-know-what and broken (laughs) off? Amazing how I've devolved. But that's my two cents on how. Channel Papa. A little bit. Listen to what people like me are saying and make things a little uncomfortable. And see how that works. Because for a decade and a half, it hasn't worked. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.